Hi, I know most of you think of me as a wildlife photographer and you come here to see videos of cute little animals and photographs and vlog posts from me and lodge reviews. And all that stuff is possible because I go and see animals in the wild, wild animals in the wild. It is very upsetting to me to read this new article that Africa Geographic just put out today, January 11th, about two super tuskers being killed in Tanzania. A super tusker, if you don't know, is an elephant that has at least one of its tusks weighing over 100 pounds. Usually they're both in that area or more. There's only 50 to 100 super tuskers left in the world. And most of those super tuskers are in the Kenya, Tanzania area. There's a few in Southern Africa, but most of them are in the Amboseli Kilimanjaro ecosystem. All of the super tuskers are known, they are named, they are followed. And when they're in Kenya, they're protected. Unfortunately, according to this article, in September of 2023, one of the super tuskers crossed out of the protected area of Tanzania. Let's go back for a second. Hunting is legal in Tanzania, in certain areas of Tanzania, not everywhere. And so what happened is one of the super tuskers walked into an unprotected area and was shot and killed. The second episode was in November of last year. And in this instance, it appears that a helicopter was flying around looking for super tuskers and possibly even herding the super tusker out of the protected area into the hunting area where he was then shot and killed. Again, according to the article, very disturbingly, both elephant bodies were burned. And it's interesting because it was two different outfitters. The bodies were burned, so there was no way for them to get an ID on these animals. These hunts were done legally. In Tanzania, you can pay money to hunt an elephant. Now, there is a minimum size that the elephant has to be, but there's no maximum size. So there's a minimum size of tusks, but there's no maximum. And the reason... Okay, forget about, like, I have very strong opinions about hunting, and, and we're not going to go there in this video. Hunters will say that hunting helps conservation. In my experience, very limited experience, I don't find this to be true 95 to 98% of the time. I am starting to now see as I'm opening my mind and learning so much more about conservation that in some cases it does help. However... There is no argument that you can make to say that killing a super tusker elephant in any way, shape, or form helps conservation of elephants. There's only 50 to 100 super tuskers left in the world. Why? Because they've been killed for their ivory. They've been poached and they've been hunted. These super tuskers pass this super tusker gene on to its offspring. And there's less and less and less offspring with long tusks. And now there's many elephants even born or growing up without producing tusks at all because all of the big tusked elephants have been killed. By wiping out two of the last remaining 50 to 100, that's not conservation. It's tragedy. And... You know, I struggle with, okay, I'm just a person. Yeah, I'm a wildlife photographer, and I have had the absolute privilege of spending time in the wild with elephants. Big super tuskers and non-super tuskers, babies, adults, bulls, females, and, and the like. And they are the most magnificent, amazing animals to be around. As a matter of fact, one of my videos of Craig, one of the super tuskers that lives in Amboseli, is one of my highest viewed videos. So not only do I love seeing them, but obviously people love to watch him and see him through the screen. Nobody benefited from this hunt. It's, it's, it's truly, it's truly tragic. The other things that big bull elephants do is they teach 
younger bulls. So elephants are a very matriarchal society. And what happens is when male elephants get into sexual maturity, they are kicked out of the herd and they become solitary. And what they often do is they'll meet up with older bulls that will teach them how to behave like a good elephant, how to be a good elephant. They'll teach them the ropes of what it's like to live without a family. These super tuskers are older elephants their tusks grow quite a bit as they age. So they're older elephants with tons of experience that they can teach to these younger elephants. So not only are we losing the genes of these elephants by them being killed, but we're also losing them as mentors. So I was thinking like, what, what can I do? What can we do? What can you do watching this video? First, I am gonna put the link to the article in the description of this video and I would encourage you to read the article and write your comments and tell them how disappointed you are in the Tanzanian government. The more people who speak up and say this is horrible, why would you allow this to happen, maybe our voices can have an impact. And don't just do it in this article, if you see other articles if you see other mentions, raise your voice, speak your opinions. We need as a group to let governments know that wildlife has a point in this world. And we want to see wildlife in the wild. We want to go and see these amazing, beautiful animals where they live. Okay, that's it for me now. It's, it's, it's been a really hard morning for me reading about this. And I appreciate you being here and listening. And please, again, read the article, comment on the article. And that's it for now. Bye.